smash them, bash them into just one little condensed block of tech rumor news. Up this week, you HTC One lovers might be getting some new action, this time in colors. LG G Pro 2 might be getting way bigger. And for you one fan of Galaxy Gear, the sequel might be coming in March or April. News Rumor Roundup, let's start rounding things up. The HTC One, I've said it over like a broken record, was my favorite phone of 2013. And being in the tech world, what was your favorite then it gets outdated and old and new things come. And it looks like the successor to the HTC One, coding the M8, is coming very soon. But it's not going to be coming in the boring silver color that the original launched. And supposedly, it's going to get four different variants. So the story goes like this. Very well-respected XDA producer and moderator Shen Yi believes the device is going to come in a variety of delicious flavors, much like Skittles. The hex code provided by Yi include red, dark gray, blue, and silver. This makes it quite nice for those early adopters when the HTC One first launched, you can only get in silver. And then black came, and you're like, hey, that's kind of nice. And then there was a blue version, a red version, a rose gold, a legit gold phone, and all kinds of other options. And the folks that might have wanted some spice of variety were left out. So if you're looking to be an early adopter of the next HTC One, or the HTC Two, or the M8, whatever you decide to call it, you'll be able to get it in a variety of colors. I'm thinking the blue one sounds pretty sweet. So LG confirmed on Monday the successor to last year's Optimus G Pro would show its big shiny face sometime in February, March. And early in the week, we got a first look at the device thanks to a pair of leaked photos, which are always the best kind. The pictures come courtesy of Korean forum DC Insider, which as much as I looked on this has nothing to do with comic books. And it appears that the new phablet will offer the same rear buttons introduced with the LG G2 and the G Flex. So LG looks pretty committed to those rear buttons. Love it or hate it, they're going to be there. But at least they got that awesome knock feature. You just double tap and it locks and unlocks. We have no way to know exactly how large a G Pro 2 is going to be. Although a report from last week claimed the device is going to feature a pretty big 6-inch display along with a beastly 3 gigs of RAM quad-core Snapdragon 800 processor. So pretty much spec for spec, the Galaxy Note 3, say for a little bigger on the screen side. 4.4 KitKat out of the box, and we'll come we love it or hate it with LG's UI right on top. It seems to be a broken record theme, but Mobile World Congress coming up soon. Maybe we'll see it in Barcelona. When Samsung first unveiled the Galaxy Gear, it looked like these smartwatch battles were getting ready to begin, and then we all tried the Galaxy Gear, and then we quickly took off the Galaxy Gear. But it looks like Samsung is committed to making the platform uh, better, thinner, and adding new features. The successor to the smartwatch could launch the next few months, according to a new report from our friends at ZDNet Korea, citing the best kind of sources, unnamed industry insiders. Sammy's second smartwatch will reportedly launch as early as March or April in 2014, so just a few months away, at a press event set to take place in London, so we know the exact place. And it's the same place that supposedly we're going to see the Galaxy S5 announcement, so... Perhaps we're looking at just some synergy or two separate press events. Samsung does like to do those. So according to ZDNet, the device will feature a curved screen using the same flexible OLED display found in the Galaxy Round or LG's G Flex, which is kind of cool. It makes sense for a watch to sort of contour to your wrist. The new Galaxy Gear will also feature its new design to match its curvy, sexy screen. So I have high expectations. I've been using smartwatches for a little while now. I'm currently rocking the Pebble. Of course, we tried to talk for a while, so I'm optimistic. Uh, that perhaps this next gen from Samsung might be pretty awesome. Let me step aside, exit off for a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. At this point, saying Netflix is like saying Kleenex. It's a brand, but you know exactly what they do. It's ubiquitous with the actual product itself. They are the best streaming option out there. You can watch TV shows and movies, including pretty awesome original content. Second season of House of Cards getting ready to launch. My wife and I finally started Walking Dead. All kinds of awesome shows are literally at your fingertips. I can use it on really any of the current gaming consoles, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and so nobody yells at me. The Wii and the Wii U are also available. You can get Netflix on it. Be sure to give it a shot. Get a free 30-day trial. Go to netflix.com slash buffalo. You should be using Netflix. It's just awesome, and you can ditch your cable company and pretty much just watch Netflix. Again, it is netflix.com slash buffalo. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave it in this general region what you think. If you're excited for any of these new things, new HTC One, you're excited for the next smartwatch, whatever LG's got next, I want to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Rentsch from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you next video. What's up, everyone? John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions, and Rettinger's Rants, where, quite obviously, I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you want to see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe, and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.